18 years old and I went and after we made that film, Trauma is like gracious enough to kind of ingrate you into their world and bring you around to festivals. I got to go to Cannes and, and these awesome places and like my first Van Gogh convention with celebrities that I had watched and people that I really admired in movies and I sat there with this company for the first time ever with one picture of myself and was like, what the fuck am I doing here? And Troma was like this, this crazy whirlwind of a company that would say like, no, 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 just stand up and take pictures. Oh, it's the famous Melissa. Oh, it's the famous so-and-so. Meanwhile, I didn't know it was famous at all, but they made you feel bigger than life, which was the only way to go to these shows at that age. It was like, oh my God, I'm so nervous. This is so crazy. And I get to sit by, I, I'm you know near the guy who played Pinhead and I'm with these awesome, awesome horror actors that it was a whirlwind. That's all I can really say. It was like a, a really eye-opening thing to go from being like a little fan kid to being kind of brought into that world. And because the horror fans and the horror celebrities were so awesome, they kind of let you in. You know what I mean? And that's why you see a lot of fans like often sitting behind people's tables and hanging out and working with you because it's like, I think most of us, like, we love you guys. And so, yeah, because trauma, it was awesome. <laughs> I, I like thinking about that too. Good question. What? Recent movies do each of you envision actually standing the test of time and becoming a classic? Oh, go ahead. Get out. I mean, we're just, we're just yes. oh, get out. And get out. a quiet place for get sure. Out, quiet place. Yeah. Uh, Hereditary took me a second viewing to think that, but I actually do think it's like kind of a quite an eerie, weird masterpiece. Mother. Um, yes, the witch. That movie, the witch. The witch. Ooh, I think so. Um, like just movies that kind of were not just. Have you seen Rue? Yeah. Yes. Uh -oh. Yeah. Yes. What really scary? Scary. Yeah. Scary. Oh, there's the daughter and the. the yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 No, I made mean, out of these are the audience and reach. That's where I think a good film <clears throat> kind of uh, gains the momentum <laughs> in becoming a classic. I also liked the room about the woman with the son that was being that's, held hostage. Oh wait, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh okay, that's yeah. just, okay, yeah. That's she, where she, she wanted to get on. Yeah. See, that's like, Yeah, the, when, when, it, when it becomes like a real life scenario, and when I think, personally, the blood and the gore thing, I'm not all up into Saw and up into um, torture. Poor. I am. <laughs> Give me hostile any day. Really? You like that stuff? Yeah, I do. And you don't turn away. You can yeah. see yeah. just the song. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. 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 It's just her face being yeah. eaten by a oh, bear trap. I love it. Yeah. 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 Right. Just the taste. All right. Okay. Like, well, you I like, like sushi. You like Italian. You know, it's like that. Sounds like that. Yeah. Yeah. You like sushi. <laughs> so she me. <laughs> no rice. Give me the frickin' raw bitch, bitch, bitch. yeah. <laughs> but I think, I mean, for me, it's when it's when shit can be so real. Like that's what I loved about the new Halloween that with the Rob Zombie did and William Forsyth playing that stepdad that was so abusive and horrible. Like this is why this kid turned into Michael Myers because he really had somebody that was already abusing him so badly, and that's where I think. For me, that's where I get scared because I know that that yeah. stuff is out there. Which movie? Halloween, the remake, the first, the first Which remake for Rob Zombie that, that William Forsyth, who's just a monster actor, and um, you know brings that that dose of, of reality where we go. Okay, I guess I can see why somebody would do something that horrible, you know, and, and all the stuff that we have to endure right now with our crazy, crazy world and trying to, um, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe horror films give people that piece of compassion that's like, you know what, I live through it, I feel this, I can feel that pain, and I can feel it, because that's what, I mean, I think that's what we're talking about, definitely. It's that's the feeling the pain, right. So when you come out of it, you're like, well, maybe I can feel the love that is going to fill that experience that just kind of got me to the brink of something. I don't know, I've always tried to figure why don't you ask the audience, which of modern day films do you think will become classics? I mean, you go see horror films, right? I <laughs> 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 <laughs>